You can add your own MP4 files to Sparkboot's mirror mode. There are a number of places like mirrorboothanimations.com where you can purchase video packs that work with Sparkboot. In this demo, I'll show you how to add their basic video pack. I purchased the MP4 in portrait orientation, but Sparkboot will work with either portrait or landscape videos. In mirror booth mode, go to settings, then video clips, create a new video set, Select an MP4 file. You can press the play button to preview the video. Click anywhere on the screen to stop the playback. Mirror, mirror on the wall. This is a starting video, so I select starting from the list. The other options in the list are photo one, two, three, or four, which will play when the specified photo is taken. Random photo will play randomly in either photo one through four. Before photo 1, 2, 3, or 4 will play before the specified photo is taken. Developing will play during the developing photos phase. Printing will play when the photos are being sent to the printer. The other before phases will play before the specified screen is shown. Preview is played during the photo preview phase. Done is played at the end. Disabled turns off the video from being played at any point. Now I'll add the rest of the MP4s. As I add it, each MP4, I will preview and set up the options. Thank you. Mirror now printing your... This is a video for printing, so I select printing. Show me some shit. This is a video that should be played before taking a photo, so I select before photo one. Awesome. This is a video that should be played after taking a photo, so I select photo one. I have Sparkboot set up to only take one photo, so I will categorize the other videos for Photo 1. Since there are multiple Photo 1 and Before Photo 1 videos, it will randomly select one of these to play before and after Photo 1. Most of these videos are not looped, so I set them all to play through once. There are a number of display options, Fit and Fill. Fit will scale the video down so the entire video fits in the screen. Fill will zoom the video up so it fills the entire screen. This is the looping option to allow the video to loop or just play through once. The start video will always loop. You can also disable or enable the sound playback in the video, and this will remove the video from the set. If I select a layout that will take three photos, I can reconfigure the video to play this way. To add the countdown video, go to countdown and then add the video. Since the countdown video has sound, I will enable sound playback. Press the test button to try out the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Since the vi these videos have text and sound, I will need to disable some of the animated text and sound effects. Under voice, I have selected none to disable the voice prompts. For the animated text, go to messages and blank out these text settings. The start video also has text, so I will need to change the cover screen to blank. Here is what the setup looks like. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Ready? Five, four, three, two. One. Are you a model?
Thank you. Mirror now printing your photo. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the new Mirror Booth mode in Spark Booth 6. Thanks.